Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about mindset. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what mindset should a computer science student have in order to grow every day for a bit? Subscribe to all RSS feeds and all newsletters that include anything that you find interesting. And then read a little bit every day. Learn a little bit every day. Uh, the reason why I you should focus on that more and more in my opinion than hardcore computer science stuff is because there are in my opinion two levels of or two styles of learning and in order for you to be a master programmer uh, in my opinion or uh, to yeah, you, this doesn't actually go for just programming I would say that this goes for every single person uh, you have to understand that there are benefits to both approaches. So the true approaches, approaches that I'm talking about is going very deep on a subject and knowing a, l a little bit about a lot of stuff. Having a more holistic, like a being a jack of all trades type of thing, right? Now, if you are a computer science student, it's very likely that the hardcore algorithmic courses and computer science theory and all this stuff that you're going to learn in school that's going to probably take up quite a lot of your time for a very good reason because it's actually very complicated uh, and it requires a lot of effort to really train your brain to understand how all of these things kind of work and so what I like to say is that that is an example of when a, uh, having a more deep approach and a more focused learning approach uh, or style call it whatever you want is the way to go because there are certain things where such as like I like to say like lear learning how to ride a bike now if you ride try to ride your bike a few seconds a few minutes every day that's probably not good it's probably never gonna lead to you actually learning how to ride all that well it's gonna take a long time for you but if you, on the other hand, go really hard and say for two weeks I'm going to just do this thing and I'm going to f practice, 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 really, really intensely practice on learning that thing, it's very likely that that sort of challenge is going to stick with you and you're going to basically learn how to learn, your, learn, learn how to ride your bicycle very efficiently. And then that sort of like depth first type of approach of really focusing on something is going to stick with you for quite some time. And that is one way of learning, and it's a very, in, in, re in my opinion, it really comes down to, you know, your focus areas and identifying which subjects to go really deep on and get really good at. And then there is the other approach, and that is to have the more jack of all trades type of thing. And that is where I believe, at the very least, uh, the this approach is going to help you a lot, where you try to have a casual acquaintance with certain subjects because some subjects are not the most important thing for you to learn absolutely everything about. An example would be let's say reg regexes, uh, regular expressions. Uh, that is a subject that I, uh, if we take just me I use. I think they are great. I have a lot of situations and I actually use them quite often in my own work but I'm not a master of that uh, well it basically it's an, uh, an entire language. I don't I can't pull out all of the things about regular expressions from memory. It's the same thing with a bunch of different tools. Like I work these days mostly in TypeScript and JavaScript and anybody who's ever tried to be a front-end developer will tell you that the ecosystem is massive. There's no way for you to master all of those tools and it's not efficient for you to do that. What I like to say is that the, if by using these two approaches you can actually become a master front-end developer and the best in, opinion, uh, in my opinion way of doing that is to go really deep and hard on the things that are main, most common, like the big things, and then have a holistic understanding of the rest, skin deep understanding, and that's what you get from reading newsletters. It's honestly, it's very similar if you uh, to, to describe it in a more generic fashion. Imagine that you were to educate yourself as a doctor or a philosopher or something like that. And then people will tell you that traveling is a good thing and reading is a good thing. And that is exactly what I'm trying to capture here. 
just by reading a lot of books or just by traveling you will get exposure to a lot of different concepts you will gain wisdom and so forth by just the exposure but you're not you know I mean you're not going to become a master of philosophy or medicine by traveling or just by reading a bunch of different various books so I hope that makes sense to you that there is a difference between going really deep on a subject and becoming a, a real master of it and having a jack of tra all trades type of thing and I truly believe that to achieve true wisdom and true seniority or mastership or so forth both of these approaches are needed in different measures depending on on what you're doing and for a computer science student definitely go heavy and like do very focused training and uh, and experimentation with you know your own projects or things that you're you're learning in the courses things like that like focus that you really understand those sorts of things in depth but then make sure that you're reading up on different tools and new trends in the industry and stuff like that because that stuff I promise you it in the beginning it goes from you just learning those basic theoretical concepts over to now you kind of know them and now you actually need to focus more and more on the tools the tools of the trade so you'll figure you will actually probably notice that by just starting early and just having a holistic skin deep understanding of a lot of different stuff that is interesting to you uh, you're actually already preparing yourself to go in and going deeper on specific tools that you might need further down the line so what I want you to take away from this is that I believe that this is not just true for a computer science student. I think that every single person, uh, regardless of what they're doing, should do this. I think that the mindset that you should have is, as we call, lifelong learning. But the, the thing is, you can't treat every day as it's gonna. you're preparing for the midterm, so you're going to have like a gigantic math exam at the end of the day. That's not. It's going to exhaust your... Uh, so what I'd like to say is that it's a very good idea to think about learning in two different styles. Either you can go very deep on something and focus on it really heftily until you really master the thing, or you can be a jack of all trades and kind of just have a basic understanding and casually lear learn about it more because it's fun and interesting than it's because you're trying to be a master of that thing. And I think that you probably yourself can identify which things in your life you really need to be good at and what stuff it's pretty good to just keep a sort of connection with you know it's interesting and it's fun and it's actually teaching you a few things here and there you get a few gold nuggets of information that you can actually apply in your own work or life but it's not maybe something that you would study very f intensely on and using these two tools or these two different mindsets in appropriate measures, uh, I believe at the very least is the way to achieve wisdom. Have a great day.